Before we get into the video, I just want to let you know that we're giving away a prototype of the Edge Beyond, this yo-yo. It's going to be about in the $150 price range when it comes out, uh, but we're giving one away at evannagao.com which the link will be in the description. And you can enter to win by making a purchase of $20 or more on the site. Also, there's a free giveaway. If you enter your email when you enter the site, uh, you'll be entered to win an original Edge. Uh, and that's happening every month. So if you enter your email one time, you'll have a chance to win every single month. Uh, so with that, guys, let's get into the video. What's up, guys? So I got this package in the mail today. This came from Yo-Yo Factory. This is probably the new Edge Beyond prototypes that have the fade colorway finish on it. So I did get to try Edge Beyond, but it was only the raw version. Um, and just any type of finish adds a little different play style to the yo-yo. I can't wait to cut into this. So yeah, let's just get to it. Here we go. Opening it up. Here we go. Here's what's inside. It's a bunch of packing materials. And so this must be it. But we got four of these. And here it is, guys. It's looking really, really good. Wow, and it comes with the extra titanium axles here. Now here's the actual yo-yo. Just wanted to make sure you can see that. It looks so good, really cool. Um, it doesn't seem like there's the logo yet, so this is still in the prototype phase, sort of. Um, but yeah, we're gonna string it up and see how it plays. So I got my plutonium strings over here. And uh, if you guys didn't know, this is my signature string, Evan Nagala's plutonium. But what you guys might not know is that you can actually pull out these strings one by one. This is a full vial. And so I'm actually just gonna take the tip of one of the strings and hold my fingers over the top like this. And what I can do is actually pull out the entire string without having any of the other strings come out. And the reason why this is good is because, you know, you've probably experienced when you put a bundle of string in your bag and then all of a sudden your string is all in a giant knot. It's like a bird's nest um, and that's annoying. So that's why this is really good. You can just carry it in your bag and it stays compact like this and it doesn't get all over the place. So that's one of the key features that I like. So we're going to string up this yo-yo and try testing it out. I think the version of bearing that came in this prototype is not the uh, bearing that's gonna come with the actual yo-yo. This is just a standard center track bearing. The final uh, version will have an NSK bearing from Japan, which is essentially just a very, very solid, long spinning, high precision bearing. So after I'm done testing this with the bearing that it, that's in it from the factory, I'm gonna put in an NSK bearing inside and kind of just test it out and see how it plays too. But yeah, let's get to some testing. Okay, so here we go. First throw. And uh, immediately, yeah. This is way better than the raw version, in my opinion. Uh, just because the finish gives it a little easier chance to slide on the string and uh, it just feels more smooth. Um, so the raw finish, it's good for um, binds because it's a little kind of, I don't know if it's stickier, but there's a little bit more friction on the string. So binds are much tighter on the um, raw version, I'd say. However, they do not seem bad at all on this yo-yo. There's uh, no problem for binding. Um, and dude, this yo-yo, this version, it actually plays a little faster. Um, it's a little faster than the prototypes that we did in RAW because um, I got the RAW version, I liked it, but it was a little heavy for me. It was about the same weight as Edge 1.5, 
and I kind of wanted it to bring it back to the original weight of the first run edge. So we brought it down two grams, so it's at 65 grams. Um, so yeah, it just feels really good actually. I really like it. Um, this is definitely the yo-yo that I'll be using at Worlds. You guys can check it out there. Hopefully I can uh, use it to take home the victory. Who knows, we'll see. Um, but I'm sure it's really good for horizontal now. Oh yeah. And the main reason for that, whoops, is because with the matte finish, it's got a lot more slide on the string. And finger spins, just fine. Um, yeah, this thing's a beast, man. It's definitely faster than the Edge, at least the Edge 1.5. Maybe about the same speed as the original Edge, um, but since it's got so much more steel on the rims, it spins a lot longer. And I'm sure that spin time will even improve drastically um, when I put in the NSK bearing inside. Um, so, so let's actually try to do that. I'm gonna put in the NSK bearing and see if it plays any different. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put it in. Here's my little workstation. You can see I got my original raw version of the Edge Beyond. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna unscrew this, take out the string. I'm a little too lazy to mess with the axle at the moment just because sometimes axles can be tough to get out. That bearing came out really easy, geez. Okay, so this is the NSK micro bearing. And here we go. Let's get this bearing on. Get out like that. Put it in there. Oh God, people are gonna hate me for this. I'm, I'm kind of rushing, so I'm doing it the improper way. Um, but I'm kind of using the uh, tightening of the yo-yo to fit this, the bearing onto the bearing seat. Okay, so now that the new bearing is in, um, let's try test it out again. Okay, so now the NSK bearing is in the yo-yo. And, uh, yeah, there's a huge difference actually. It is so dead silent. Oh my gosh, this yo-yo plays insanely smooth. Um, I know my door's open, I'm gonna close it so you can hear the bearing, what the bearing sounds like. Okay, so this is what the bearing sounds like now. And wow, this is, it's so smooth. It's just, the, and there's no lube in it either. It sounds like it's lubed up. Here, I'm holding it right next to the camera. And uh, it's just so, Dang smooth. So yeah, this thing pretty much feels like butter now, plays like butter. Um, it's got a fade now, so I can tell how fast the yo-yo is spinning when I'm on stage. Um, and for those of you that don't know, the NSK bearing is actually the same bearing that comes in, um, for example, or the same brand uh, bearing that comes in um, like drop near and uh, some of the other very long spinning popular yo-yos um, from Japan. Um, so yeah, just the, the, the play is totally changed, completely actually. It's just very smooth now. Um, I don't know, it just feels really nice. So anyways guys, with that, that was Edge Beyond and uh, yeah, make sure to look out for it. I think there's going to be a pre-release at Worlds and uh, I think that they should be coming out sometime soon after that. So yeah, check it out when you get the chance. Alright guys, love your faces. <laughs>